Thank you. Today we are going to see the 79th Shloka of Vishnu Sasranama recitation and word by word meaning. Suvarna Varno He Mango Varangashadanangadi Viraha Vishama Shunyo Krita Shira Chalas Chalaha Suvarna Varno He Mango Varangashadanangadi Vira Kavisha Mashunyo Krita Shira Chalas Chalaha Suvarna Varno He Mango Varangashadanangadi Vira Kavisha Mashunyo Krita Shira Chalas Chalaha now let's see the word by word meaning. Suvarna Varna. Varna means color. Suvarna means gold. So Suvarna Varna means Bhagavan is the power who is uh, golden colored. That means Bhagavan is the purest form. And Bhagavan has the power to give the same purity to his devotee. Bhagavan is the all illuminating power. So he gives the awareness to his devotee through many Upanishads. So Bhagavan is self-effluent. He doesn't get uh, the light from every, anybody, but he gives out the light to everybody. That means he is showing the good path, the path of dharma to everybody. And Bhagavan also makes sure he shows the merits and demerits of each and every action that a devotee is doing in different Vedas. And Bhagavan has the color that is so pure. That's why he is called Suvarna Varna. Hema Go. Hema Ango. Anga means the limbs. Hema means gold. Bhagavan has the limbs which is gold in color. That means Bhagavan has the rays that is attracted by all the devotees. That is the purest color that will make the Bhagavan shine like the he, he is the ultimate power. So Bhagavan is the Brahman. So Bhagavan has the strongest limbs to support his devotees and creations. That's why Bhagavan is called Hemanga. Varango. Vara Ango. Anga means limbs. Vara means beautiful. Varango means Bhagavan has the beautiful limbs. That means he has the power to bless the devotees which is Limbs. That means he has the power to uh, get the devotees the maximum love that anyone can expect for. So that's why Bhagavan is called Varanga. Chandanangadi. Chandana means uh, joy giving. Angada means, Angam means arm. Angada means something that you wear on arm. That is the armlets. Just like bracelets, we have armlets. So, Chandanangadi means Bhagavan has the arms with beautiful armlets and which has the power to give the maximum joy, the ultimate happiness to his devotees. That means the Bhagavan has the attractive armlets and Bhagavan has been smeared with the sandal which has both the smell as well as it is the smoothest form as well as it has the power which can make anything pure. So Bhagavan is the purest form who has the beautiful limbs to bless any devotee with the ultimate happiness. That's why he is called Chandanangati. Viraha. Veera means valiant. Veeraha means 
the power who can destroy the most valiant um, heroes. That means uh, some of the valiant heroes will uh, fight in the opposite direction. That means they are not considered to be the heroes. They are the villains. They will stand for all the adharma. So someone should come to destroy them. So Bhagawan is the power who will come at any point to uphold the righteousness, uphold the dharma. So Bhagawan has taken different incarnations and he has destroyed many asuras in all the battles. And Bhagawan has the power to destroy the most powerful and mightiest force that the uh, villain has. So what all the opposite power Maybe the negatives, maybe the uh, intentions, everything can be destroyed by Bhagavan. That's why he is called Viraha. Vishama. Vishama means unequaled. Shama means equal. Vishama means unequaled. So in the Bhag Bhagavad Gita also, Bhagavan has made understood the Arjuna how the Lord's cosmic form works. And Bhagavan has such a power that nobody can, is able to equal it. So he is given, uh, given the uh, instructions to Arjuna that whatever has happened is because of Bhagavan. Whatever is, is happening is because of Bhagavan. Whatever will happen, it's all already written and only Bhagavan is the director. So we cannot uh, change anything. So we just have to Follow what it is. So that's why Bhagavan cannot be unequal. So he is called Vishama. Shunya. Shunya means void. Means nothing. That means Bhagavan uh, is the total absence of equipment. He doesn't have a body. He doesn't have any specific intellect or field of observe experience or anything that we have. Because we have a specific form, we have a specific body, but uh, Bhagavan's everything is imaginable. And we are considering that Bhagavan will be like this, but Bhagavan is just a power. Bhagavan is a feeling that we can only feel it. We cannot see it. So Bhagavan is existing, but still he is, no, he doesn't take any space to exit. So, Bhagavan's existence is itself is a imaginable thing. So, we know we can feel the power of Bhagavan, but ultimately Bhagavan does not take any space or any matter that has been considered as a body. That's why Bhagavan is called Shunya. Krita Shira. Krita Shira means Bhagavan does not need any wishes from anyone because he does not have any dream to fulfill. He's already, he is uh, satisfied completely. So, once you need to have something to satisfy, we need wishes from others. We need blessings from others. Bhagavan does not need anything uh, greater than what he has already. So, that's why Bhagavan is not uh, expecting any wishes from others, expecting any blessings from others. But he is on the giver part. He is ready to give the blessings and shower his happiness to others. That's why he is called Hrida Se. Hrida Achala. Achala. Chala means moving. Achala means not moving. So Bhagavan will be steadily uh, stand pervading in one place, but that pervading space will be all around the universe. He will not move from one place to another. So he is big enough to be present everywhere in the universe. He is the powerful um, 
he has the powerful sense that will that he can see everything that he can feel anything and that he can um, hear anything so bhagavan since he is not moving doesn't mean that he cannot reach anywhere he reaches anywhere any part at any point of time chalaha chalaha means moving that means even though bhagavan does not move from one place to another his qualities will be moving from one yugas to another even though he cannot move his experience of knowledge will moves from one creation to another that's why he even though he is not conditioned he, he has made the creations with a specific body mind and intellect which will make the things work out that means he will make his creations to follow the path of dharma even when he is standing in a specific vaikuntha and he is guiding others he is making other things move even though he doesn't move in one place so that's why bhag since bhagavan has the power to move others in the path of dharma he is called chalaha suvarna varno hemango varanga chadanangadi viraha vishama shunyo krida shira chalas chalaha suvarna varno hemango varanga chadanangadi viraha vishama shunyo krida shira chalas chalaha Suvarna Vanno Hemango Varanga Shadanangadi Viraka Vishamashunyo Kridashira Chalashalaka. Thank you.